All right, so today, I know it's kind of hard to really see this, but I'm making bark cloths. Um, this one might be a little bit easier, maybe this one that I'm, I'm working on now. <clears throat> Currently, you can see the outline. I'll show it to you on the screen in just a second. Um, so I've got, my daughter is having a baby this year, and my nephew and his wife are having a baby this year as well. So it got me in the mood to make some burp cloths. So I got this really cute pattern from Pro Stitcher. Let me get out of this. From ProStitcher.com. It actually already has the burp cloth shapes and, and designs in there. And then they give you one that's blank. And then you can put whatever you want in the blank one, which is what I did here. My daughter loves elephants. So I'm putting elephants in um, one of these designs. And so this one, because the elephant, to make it, fill the whole thing I had to make the elephants go outside of the line so you'll have to trim this I'll, I'll have to trim it out when I cut this out and then you're going to put binding around it so it will it will cover it up but they have some really cute designs ProStitcher.com is where I bought these for my long arm and you just create these right on the long arm so all I'm doing is I'm using a piece of minky fabric and then some baby themed cotton fabric on top no batting in the middle since I'm using minky I didn't want to put any batting in there but I think they're, they'll be really cute see if I can zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see the shape of it better it's already outlined the shape so the next thing I'm going to be doing on this one is it'll stitch the design in it now that I've got the shape uh, of the outline so all you'll do is is when I take these off the long arm is I'll cut probably about a quarter of an inch around the outside of the design and then I'll put binding on it. So thanks for watching. Bye y'all.